Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Cook here. I hope that you guys have a really fun time doing this lesson today. I think it's gonna be a really fun one for you guys. So all you're gonna need is a piece of paper, any paper will do, something to draw with like a pencil or a pen or a marker, and something that you have around to color with if you wanna add color like crayons, all right? So I'm gonna switch over to my desk so you can see exactly what I'm drawing. Hi, boys and girls. When we, before we start our project, we're gonna read this cute little book called Hoot. Can you guess what it's about? It's about an owl and his friends. Little Blue wakes up in the nest and finds himself alone. Why have all the others gone? And where have they all flown? There he is. He is wondering. He dresses in his favorite shirt. He's always number one and flies to find his feathered friends to have some nighttime fun. From tree to tree he flaps and glides, then shouts aloud, Hoo, hoo! Little green, you have been seen. Together we make two. Little blue zooms off again to see what he can see. It's little red, he proudly says, our wide-eyed number three. There's number three. One, two, three. Oh, and a little spider friend. He spots some rustling in the leaves. He thinks he's found one more. Little yellow, out you come. Together we are four. One, two, three, four. How cute. He flies across the rooftops, then swoops and takes a dive. Little purple, there you are. We're now a group of five. Little Blue says to the owls, it's my turn, everyone. Now close your eyes and count to five. Our playtime's almost done. The other owls look here and there, then go where Blue likes best. They find their friend fast asleep back in his cozy nest. The end. That is such a cute story. And it is our inspiration for our, our artwork today. The first thing we're gonna do with our artwork is we are going to draw some owls. So you can pause the video and go get a piece of paper. Any paper that you have will do. And you can get something to draw with, like a pencil or a marker, or you can get something to color with like crayons or markers. Okay, pause the video and come right back. All right, we're gonna work on some owls. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna imagine that there's going to be like a tree branch here that the owls are going to sit on. So the tree branch that I imagine is gonna go like this across the page. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one owl. I'm gonna make a U shape. So just like the letter U, I'm gonna draw a curve and then I'm gonna draw the top of the owl's head. The top of the owl's head is gonna go right across, but don't connect it. Leave a space because the owl has pointy ears. <coughs> and I'm gonna make a pointy ear, kind of like a cat's ear. Now owls always have great big eyes, so I'm gonna draw one big circle and two big circles, a very small little triangle for the beak, and you can create, you can create a little wing right here, one line that goes down and the other line goes down. So that's two wings right there. Awesome, and let's put some eyes on our owl. 
nice circle. If you'd like to, you can leave a small white area in your circle and that will be a little shining spot on your owl's eyes. Okay, now I'm going to make the next owl a big U, a line in the middle, and then a diagonal, and a diagonal for the owl's ears. Add two eyes, a beak, and two wings. And you can make as many owls as you want. Maybe they're a family of owls. And if you need to, you can pause the video. If I'm going too fast, you can pause it, take your time and complete your drawing. Okay, and however many owls you decide to put on your branch, that's totally fine. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna make it a little one. Super cute little owl with really, really big eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna make the owl's toes. I'm gonna do the first one, let me zoom in here. I'm going to create one, two, three, li four lines and a little bump on the bottom. One, two, three, four lines with a little bump on the bottom. And that makes three toes that are grabbing onto the branch. And now I'll do the next one. Four lines will create three toes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And this is a smaller owl, so I'm gonna make smaller toes. There's really no way to do this wrong. So don't worry about being perfect. Don't worry about it at all. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the branch. So start all the way on the left side of the paper and draw a line that goes right, right to where your owl, his body meets the toes. Then you're going to draw the next line coming out from where his body meets the toes. And branches are usually pretty wobbly. So you're going to draw the branch by connecting each owl to the owl next to it. And it goes right where the toes are. Yes. So this is the part where the branch connects to the tree. So this is going to be the biggest part of the branch. As the branch gets further from the the tree is going to get thinner and thinner. So I'm going to make it a little bumpy. And my branch gets thinner and thinner. Now you see it looks like the four little birds are perched on the branch. You can make some additional, additional branches here. And then you can add some more branches. Just like that. You can decorate and add as many branches as you want. You can add some leaves. That's always really fun. And then with whatever crayons or coloring 
um, maybe markers that you have, you can add some color to your owls. And maybe this owl family, they're all different colors. You can decide. All right, I hope you guys have fun coloring. Awesome. So I hope you guys had fun with this project. I can't wait to see what you guys all created. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. God bless you guys. Bye.